When testing an ignition coil, it can be tested a few different ways. One of those ways is a current ramp test. So let's walk through how to do that on this Hyundai behind me. All right, to do this, we're gonna use the guided component test function. I already have the vehicle ID'd before, so I'm gonna go into previous vehicles. There it is right there. And then we'll see the different systems we can test. In this case, engine is where the coil is. And then we see all the different components inside the engine system. So we'll go down to where it says ignition coil. And then we have component information and we have primary tests. So we're gonna do a primary test and that'll be that current ramp test right here. So it says we'll use a low amp probe. Connect the probe to the scope as shown. We've already done that. Automatically zero it. And it says clamp the current probe around the battery positive side of the con or the control side of the ignition coil. Do not clamp on both. In this case, we're around the battery side. So all I gotta do really is hit view meter and it'll open up. Automatically sets the uh, scale for me. Automatically sets the time for me. Now all we need to do is start the vehicle. So if you could start, please. All right, there we go. Now we have a current ramp in here. Now you'll also notice, like I said, it has automatically set it up, but sometimes you need to make small adjustments. So in this case, we're going a little off the screen, so I need to make it a little higher. So I'll just come down here, change my scale from 10 amps. We'll change it to 20 amps. And there we go. Now we can see it on the screen, so I'll stop the recording. And then we can shut off the vehicle now. All right, so here is my current ramp. Let me bring back the uh, pictures here. So we can see there's a nice smooth ramp up. It does ramp up a little more sharply towards the end, but I think that's just due to the construction of the coil. Uh, so we can see how it ramps up smoothly. And then in this case, it's, it goes up, and as soon as the coil would fire would be when that big drop off occurs. Now, if we look a little further on the background information, we will see there's what a known good one looks like. Now, in this case, this is a little bit different because this is what we would call a current limited coil. So in this case, the manufacturer decided they wanted to limit the, the current inflow to a certain number, whatever that happened to be. Uh, so in that case, you may see a flat top. In this case, it is not. It is just a uh, kind of ramps up. So it goes up kind of like a triangle. So there's, two, there's really two different types that you would see out there. Uh, and then an example of a bad coil, though, would be right here, where it goes up sharply at the beginning and then over. And it says, if coil waveform has a sharp rise at the beginning of the ramp, suspect a shorted coil winding. So that's a good way to test and see how that coil is working internally by using this current ramp test. 